Hi, my name is Tim Sasserchi. I'm Product Manager of AS Interface at Pepperl and Fuchs. And today I'm going to be talking about programming the AS Interface Ethernet IP Gateway with an Allen Bradley PLC. I'm going to be using the Compact Logics L32 PLC. My AS Interface network has been completely configured and I've done a store and run on the, on the gateway. My IP address, subnet mask, and gateway have all been configured inside the unit using the keypad and display. So now all I have to do is open my RS Logics 5000 software and configure it. What I'm going to use is a, is a generic Ethernet object, which is the method of communicating between the gateway, the gateway and the PLC. And this will be uh, for any version of RS Logics from 13 up to 20. Next thing I want to do is get everything programmed into my RS Logic 5000. First thing I want to do is download some example projects and some other things I'm going to need from the web. So I go to my web website, pepperl-fuchs.us, and just type vbg-enx. You'll then get all three AS interface gateways for Ethernet IP, single network, dual network, and dual network with safety monitor. I'm going to click on the dual network with safety monitor. That's the one I happen to have in front of me. And then you just scroll all the way down to the bottom where it says software. And then you want to download the example projects and add on instructions for Allen Bradley PLCs and RS Logics 5000. Okay, you can see I've already downloaded here to my desktop and unzipped it. Next thing I want to do, I'm going to close that out. Next thing I want to do is open up my RS Logics 5000. This is going to be example project in version 19. You could have used version 13 up through version 20, it doesn't matter. So I want to do new. I'm going to be using my Compact Logics L32E PLC version 19. ASI example, refine, choose OK. The next thing I want to do is under Ethernet, because the Ethernet port's built into my Compact Logics, I'm going to do new module. All right, and it should be under communications. If you just scroll down, I'm going to be using generic Ethernet module, not the Ethernet IP. It just says generic Ethernet module. Click OK. Okay. Next thing I want to do is call it Gateway One. Uh, you'll see later when I import my CSV file that I've uh, assigned the tag names to that particular Gateway One name. You could use others, but uh, you're going to have to change the CSV file name. And then we have some more information that we want to fill in. Uh, COM format, I've always done it uh, data integer. I think it's a little bit easier, especially for analog data, if you want to directly map it, um, as well as the tags are all set up for integer. And then my gateway, as you saw in the last video, we've configured it for 172.18.30.70. Next thing would be to figure out what assembly instance parameters to use. Once you download that software, there's a file in there called Example Project Selection Tool. I want you to open that. And this is going to give you all the options that you can choose from. What it allows you to do is pick what assembly instance numbers and what length based on what you want to map. So you can map network 1, A and B, network 2, A and B, analog for network 1 and 2. This would be just addresses 29, 30, and 31. And then a short or long mailbox if you want some advanced diagnostics. So for this example, I'm just going to choose the largest assembly instance, 135, 171. Then it's going to map everything, including the large mailbox, and the length would be 75. So 135, 171, 75. Right, go back to my project. 135 is the input, 171 is the output, length is 75. And the configuration is always 1, length 1. You just have to know that. Click OK. You can do a unicast over Ethernet IP, that's fine. RPI rate, you can go down to 5 milliseconds if you need to. 10 is usually normal. Everything looks OK here. And the next thing I want to show you is, if you look under controller tags, you'll notice that now all of your outputs are directly mapped, and all your inputs are directly mapped. 
but you don't exactly know uh, which module is mapped where. You don't see any tag description. So what I've done in my example project folder is include CSV files which will give you a, a mapping for every single module based on your assembly instance that you've chosen. So I'm going to go to Tools, Import, Tags, and Logic Comments. I'm going to point to my desktop and that 118.0.0.6.6e which I downloaded off the web and I want to go to Description Files for RS Logix 5000 version 16 through version 19. Okay, Basically anything that uses that generic Ethernet object. And if you remember we use the assembly instance 135, 171 so I'm going to pick that CSV file. Import. You can see down here it imported over a thousand different tags. It'll show you where the A nodes start, B nodes start, Network 2 A nodes start, B nodes start, It'll show you because this assembly maps analogs for 31, 30, and 29 for network 1, 31, 30, 29 for network 2, and then your long mailbox start for your advanced diagnostics. Now, along with telling you where the notes start, it also, if you drill down on the integer, it will tell you exactly which AS interface node and which bit number is exactly in the right location. So you have address 1, address 2, address 3, and the next word, address 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. This goes on and on all the way through addresses 31A, 31B on network 1, and of course 1 through 31A and B on network 2. So everything is good. Let's go ahead and download. So let's do a who active because this is the new project. My 172.18.30.11 is my version 19 VLC, so that's the one. Just drill down until this, this goes solid over here so I know I can download. I'm going to also click the set project path so next time I have a little bit easier. Change back to run mode. Okay, you know everything's uh, downloaded. It's in run mode. All of my uh, network configuration is okay. If you notice there's no yellow triangle, if I double click on my AS interface gateway it'll show you the status is running. And everything is okay. I have my e-stop. I just want to show you one I.O. e-stop at node 10. I think it's in word 2 here. Okay, so so input data. If you notice, look, it says node 10 right here. My e stop is 1111. That tells you that it's pulled up. And when I want to press the e stop, you can see that all the ones go to zero. It's telling you that the e stop has been pressed, and you can send someone out in maintenance and maybe take a look at it. That's all there is to it to configure the AS interface gateway. Uh, thank you for watching this video about AS Interface. Please see our YouTube channel for more information.